Hello, I'm the Onus Notes, and today I have another video for you guys. This is episode 76 of React to Watch Mojo, and today I'm doing a bit of a special video because I had other videos to make, videos that were scheduled at the moment. But I'm gonna interrupt that a bit because if you didn't know it already, Chester Bennington committed suicide yesterday and he hanged himself in his in his apartment I believe so he is not with us anymore rest in peace just Chester Bennington one hell of a frontman really and yeah my opinion my opinion about Link, Linkin Park is because this is the top 10 Linkin Park songs I I like Linkin Park they're a bit overplayed they're a bit of course overrated in my opinion and that, that is for some people a bit harsh for me that I say that while I'm talking about Chester Bennington passing away. <clears throat> but it, it, it is true. Linking Park, Linking Park is tremendously overrated. But that doesn't mean that they have made great albums like Harbertory and Meteora. And those two, those two first albums are requested by by music fan 993 and he also requested this video but if he didn't request it i i would do it anyway because i i had i had and i still have respect for linkin park really love joanne the dj of the band a really great guy mike shinoda the songwriter of course uh brad delson okay guitars but 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 of course chester bennington was really well one of a kind uh really one of one of a kind frontman for the band and yeah of course he can he can just not be replaced so i'm curious what linkin park is gonna do now but we're gonna see yeah oh of course they're gonna take a rest for a bit gonna hide under because the passing away so i yeah of course i'm really sorry for linkin park and all of their family and friends but just J just stop with what you're doing just take like a month off or something or maybe a year of your if you really need it and then maybe come back or just stay away Th that is of course your uh, your decision uh, i'm not really one to talk about that so uh, it is their decision but we're, we're gonna react to this video top 10 linkin park songs of course i think there's gonna be a lot of the first two albums Harbor and Meteora, which are requested. I, I really love those albums, so I think, of course, In The End is gonna be on there, Crawling, that's that edgy song, stuff like that. Um, Papercut, I really like that song. C uh, Cure For The Ish, that, that is a really good uh, a solo track for Joanne. Re really love the track, because that is just all Joanne. I really love that. Uh, do, do I forget? Uh, One Step Closer, of course. Probably my favorite Linkin Park song. Because it is, in my opinion, the only metal song. Because they they have a bit softened over the year. Especially with One More Light, of course. Which is very accurate now. That the band was so poppy. And now it seems a bit like a farewell album to Chester Bennington. So maybe I get why he wanted to make that album. But there we are. Um, yeah, of course from Meteora and um, Lying From Me, Lying From You, stuff like that. Uh, Don't Stay, I really love that. Figure 9, Session, that is a really great solo track from Johan. Somewhere I Belong, Num. Yeah, I know a lot of uh, songs from Linkin Park in their, in their heyday, in my opinion, in, in their heyday. But but we're just gonna see we're gonna we're gonna watch the video i'm still really sad about chester bennington but let's just watch it if the video wants to start there we are It is so unex unexpected that Chester Bangor would do such a thing. And some people actually say that it is not a coincidence that he took his own life yesterday. Because people think that he wanted to die on Chris Cornell's birthday. Because Chris Cornell is 
His birthday is on July the 20th. The 20th. The 20th. Fucking hell. 20th. I don't know, but th that is his birthday, so people think that. That, that that maybe is a bit bit faster, but maybe Chester Bennington wanted to be with him in heaven on his birthday for a, a fucking birthday gift or something. That is really fucked up, but that is my prediction. <sighs> so sad, man. So sad. Welcome to Watch Mojo Dark Comedy. Please enjoy the show. Somewhere I belong. Somewhere I belong. If you would ask me, I prefer the second album, but that is a bit of an unpopular opinion, I think. Featuring elements of new metal, rap rock, and alternative rock. Meteora's first single is a blast of energy that's trademarked Lincoln Park. I know they got tired of this rap rock new metal sound, but it was so good back in the day, man. Linkin Park, what happened? Yeah, of course they can't really do anything about it now, but I mean, yeah. Holster what Park. happened? Chester Bennington's vocals and Mike Shinoda's rapping skills and moody, relatable lyrics. minute track didn't only chart within the Billboard Hot 100's Top 40, but also found a home within the Top 20 of multiple charts worldwide. Yeah, really good track. One of my favorites of the, of the album actually, Meteora. I like the song, it is a bit overplayed, New Divide, and yeah, Linkin Park were a bit selling out at the moment because they had the deal with Transformers and Michael Bay, of course, fucking Michael Bay. He had a shitload of money, so they can't complain, but there we are. And he, he is a fucking billionaire by now. People don't watch his movies, he can only create more shit if you go to it. People really don't don't think about those things, really. I mean, has Michael Bay ever made a good movie? Yeah. I, 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 I think that that's says enough. Since heavy drums and Bennington's melodious vocals, this top ten track was the perfect theme song for Michael Bay's Transformers sequel. So There's one really weird effect where all the colors are fucking mixed up and stuff in the music video. I really didn't understand if that was a, an error in the music video or if that is really to make it more, yeah, psychedelic, something like that. I really don't know. It looks really, really fucked up. Mixing alternative rock with industrial and electronic rock influences, its high tech and ultra modern sound made a hot impact among fans. The song simultaneously topped the U.S. rock songs, modern rock tracks, and hot mainstream rock tracks charts, and became one of the band's most well-received tunes. Not the biggest fan of that song, and I mean, Linkin Park were promoting a movie and it was Transformers and that is really fucking shit. So yeah, that song is probably the highlight of that entire fucking, of the entire fucking movie. Burn It Down from Living Things. That is actually one album I, L L Living Things, I really think that album is underrated, so check it out if you want. It, it is actually quite decent.
if you gave up on on them with minutes to midnight or a thousand suns give this album a chance after the heavy electronic feel of a thousand suns disappointed many fans lincoln park won them back with the lead single of living things burn it down was positively reviewed for its fusion of guitars and synths Faint, motherfucking faint. Number seven, faint. Yeah, I, I, I actually like this song. <laughs> it is a really good song. A bit short, two minutes I believe, but yeah, it packs a punch. In your second single, quickly grabs hold of our eardrums with its new metal and rap rock sound. A little bit of loneliness, a little bit of disregard. Handful of complaints, but I can't help the fact that everyone can see these scars. And while it's only a little over two and a half minutes long, Fink still manages to pack a powerful punch thanks to its great beats and synth heavy melody. I can't within the Billboard Hot 100's top 50, the track was later mashed up with a Jay-Z song on the Collision Course I don't course. like, I don't like that song, I don't like that Collision Course album. Yeah, really unnecessary, but the original is really, really good. Further ensuring it won't be ignored. Jigawatt. Yeah, when you can't fucking spell Jay-Z, for fuck's sake. Fucking rappers, man. I I actually think that Mike Shinoda is one of the few that actually is a good rapper, but yeah, really, really rare. Of course, the edgy song. The angst. Oh, the fucking angst in this song, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this song is so over mean, but yeah, it is, it is actually metal, so yeah, go figure. Park's debut doesn't feature Shinoda's rapping as much as their other songs, but it does show off Bennington's range, requiring him to use soft-spoken vocals as well as hard-hitting screams. I've actually seen the live in Texas video, the performance, it was really good, so check it out man. Ch check the first two albums out, it, it is really good. Yeah, a lot of songs from, from their first two albums at the moment on air, so I'm really not surprised at that. This is... This is Breaking the Habit, one of my absolute favorite Linkin Park songs, I really love it. It, it shows that Linkin Park weren't all about the screaming and had actually some really diverse moments. Breaking the Habit is just really an alternative rock, yeah, it is just really a, a alternative rock great work man, really really good. Number 5. Uh, a modern classic. Breaking the Habit. Shinoda's rapping or distorted guitar riffs, but Meteora's fifth single still stands out thanks to its use of electronica and live strings. Concentrating on dark themes like addiction, Breaking the Habit was a top 20 smash that made history when it became Linkin Park's fifth single in a row to top the Billboard Modern Rock Tracks chart. Let's not forget 
get its anime-influenced music video, which is also a fan favorite. So much, so much good instrument playing by the band, and so good high, but effective and just melodic vocals by Chester Bennington. It is just really one of their best, really good. One step closer. Yes, come on, come on. Yeah, Linkin Park is just really a nostalgic fucking band, man. Maybe not as good as today, but man, back in the day they fucking rocked. And now I'm about to break. The band's first single brought them one step closer to mainstream success after it... I mean, compare this to One More Line, man, what the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, other creative thinking, but yeah, st stuff like that, but what the fuck happened, man. L listen, listen to the mixing of Joanne, it's really one of his best on air. Not surprisingly, this aggressive track really comes alive when played in concert, and has often found its way into the band's sets. Once I'm close to the edge, so now I'm about to go. Yeah, I, pref I prefer their studio, their studio songs over the live versions, but yeah, it, Linkin Park was, it's still really just a, a solid rock band, you gotta admit that. Ma maybe not the best, but they have their plays. Not the biggest fan of this song, but yeah. I mean, Minutes to Midnight is still an alright album, but it was just a bit messy because Rick Rubin was on the production instead of Don Gilmore, and he was on the first two albums, so much love to him. But yeah, Rick Rubin, great producer, but not for Linkin Park. He made really a messy album with, with Minutes to Midnight. That, that part, man, when he is just <laughs> in, in the music video and just the song as well, just, yeah. They, yeah, they didn't sold out because they were famous for their new metal sound, but it was really just a, a commercial step for them, which was really, yeah. They, they wanted to diversify from their first two records, but it is just really wilding part. Why did you so... Why, why did you so much change your sound and stayed a bit the same, to, to really be honest? I mean, it still sounds the same, all the, all the patterns, all the arrangements, stuff like that. It, it is still the same, but it is just way more ele electronic uh, these days. But that's my opinion. If you love Linkin Park, I can understand that. But for me, yeah, the classic era is, is the way to go for me. The video is just really trying to be so much. Here. How do you say that? Now I I really don't know, but they show all political shit like that. It is really trying to be so political 
uh, as much as it can be and yeah I really don't like the music video but the song is still alright from a really messy album but there we are I wouldn't put it in my top 10 but there we are Num is probably my favorite Linkin Park song but yeah I, I'm gonna listen to the other Linkin Park albums I think the Minutes to Midnight Thousand Suns, oh man, that is just really, yeah. Um, Living Things, I like that album. Hunting Party, yeah, still like it, so I'm gonna check those albums out, I, I think, in the future, but we're gonna see. But Numb is definitely one of the best songs. And some people in the comments were saying that Chester Bennington is feeling numb right about now, but how can someone who is dead feel numb? I mean, yeah, some fucking retarded brain dead toddlers, man. They're just really fucking dumb. Ha have some respect for the dead, man, really. And a dead person can be numb. What the fuck are you on about, really? Some fucking people in the comments, man. Th that is why I'm not a really big fan of the comments. Well, I don't read them a lot. Only my own comments, but I'm just not a fan of, of them because they're just really inappropriate fucking... Fucking kids who have all day on YouTube and I don't have all day so yeah, we have no connection to say the least And also just because the people are, who say dumb shit like that. That is just really disrespectful. Don't don't say that the, the fact that I have to say that says really enough about humanity nowadays just really How to ruin a great song. Include Jay-Z. Just fuck off Jay-Z really. Uh, yeah, I, I believe Num is my favorite song but yeah, Jay-Z can just fuck off for good really. Just fuck rap. Before we unveil our number one hit, here are a few honorable mentions. Don't stay for Meteora. Lying from you, also from Meteora. I, I mean, it says enough how Meteora is just a great album, man. They have, they have almost included the entire album, so that really says enough. Yes. My, my computer is really, really fucking slow at the moment. When I'm pausing the video, it, it needs one second or two to react to that. Really fucking slow. Castle of Glass uh, from Living Things. Really underrated album. Check it out. I'm, I'm getting just so sad. When you hear Castle of Glass and you see Chester Bennington smiling, that is just really fucked up, man. <sighs> why, Chester? Why did you have to go? I mean, we had to stab ourselves in the face. I know you said that, but I mean, we still love you, man. Oh, man. So sad. So sad. Given up by min uh, from minutes to midnight. Bleed it out from minutes to midnight. Waiting for the end from A Thousand Sons, probably their worst album, Com uh, together with their recent one, but yeah, not a fan of that song. 
I mean, listen to how electronic that song sounds and listen to this song, how great this one is. I, f I fucking knew it though, but I mean, this is just a thousand times better than a thousand cents. Hey, get me? Overplayed, but overplayed for a reason. There really are f fucking no. My computer is not fucking reacting. But yeah, it is just really flawless, isn't it? I mean, you, you can shit about Linkin Park all day if you want, but you can't deny that in the end it's just a really iconic song, man. You cannot deny that. <coughs> I mean, Chester Bennington and Linkin Park are really fucking right. It doesn't matter if you live until you're 80 or something, or if you commit suicide like Chester Bennington did. In the end, it doesn't really matter. Fucking hell, man. So true. What's your favorite Linkin Park song? Top tens published every day. Be sure to subscribe to watchmoto.com. I mean that that keyboard sort of thing that Joanne has on the on the in the end song it, or on the entire Harvard Theory album. It is, I mean, Joanne is just such a great guy, man. And he watches anime, and he plays fucking Japanese games. So you gotta love Joanne. Joanne is a great guy. And the entire band as well. Rest in peace, Chester Bennington. And just fucking hell, man. Uh, that, that, that was a pretty good list, I would say. A lot of Harvard Theory and Meteora were on there, so I'm really happy about, about that. Not the biggest fan of Minus to Midnight with the What I've Done song. I, I think they sold out because they had a deal with Michael Bay in the fucking Transformers movie and the song itself was just really fucking poppy. So I'm not a big fan of their of their later material, material, but if you want to request it, I can give it a chance again and I can listen to it again and maybe my opinion will change, but we will see. Yeah. I, I'm just really heartbroken still thinking about Chester Bennington that we have lost him. But yeah, do those things. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know your top 10 Linkin Park songs. I'm curious about it. If you want me to do my own top 10 Linkin Park songs, I can do that. But it may take a while because I have to listen to the entire Linkin Park discography. But there we are. But yeah, that was the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Yeah, rest in peace, Chester Bennington. Like I said a thousand times, you will be missed forever, man. Hybrid Theory, yes, Meteora, albums like that, they're never gonna be forgotten. They're just really fucking great. <sighs> Fuck, man. Yeah. Th thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, course, to the channel. The owners note for more videos like this one. I, I hope you have enjoyed this one. God bless, stay safe, take care. Have a nice day and um, man, Linkin Park, <sighs> man, yeah, I, I, I want to say rest in peace again, but I, uh, I've said it a thousand times, but yeah, fucking hell, man, it, it, yeah, <laughs> it, in the end, it, do, it doesn't really matter, it, it, that is so fucking true. Yeah, how, how do you end the video like this? <sighs> yeah. Go, 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 just go listen to Harvard Theory or something like that. Great album. Yeah. 
it, it is overdone, it is cliche, but I'm gonna do it. I, I, have, I have tried so hard and I got so far, but in the end, it doesn't really matter. <sighs> Fucking hell.